I'm sure many of you are already enjoying Hogwarts Legacy, and you've no doubt realised that within the game, money is a very important factor when it comes to buying things for the Room of Requirements such as the Conjurations that really do add up, or even when it comes to buying the Broomstick upgrades which don't come cheap. Or maybe you just want to buy potions and ingredients instead of brewing them for yourself. Well, this is where money comes in and becomes such a big problem, especially if you don't know how to get a bunch of it very easily. So in this one, we're going to give you a handy tip that's going to let you get loads of money and even rare shiny beasts that you may not have even known were in the game. On top of this, it's actually super easy to do, but you will need to have progressed far enough in the story to unlock the Room of Requirement, a Vivarium, and a Nubsack. So if you can't do this in your save just yet, make sure to come back later when you can because this is a super easy method and the rare shiny beasts are pretty cool to have. You probably already know a method where you can simply sell your excess gear in any of the shops to get some quick money. But this is going to be even better than that and give you some rare beasts, which is similar to shinies if you've ever played a Pokemon game before. These are beasts that come in different colour variants to the usual colours of the beasts and have very rare spawn chances. So if you're a collector and you want to fill out your room of requirement with all different shiny beasts, then this is something you want to do as well. And if you find this video helpful, you can click like down below to show us support and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next guide from us. Do tell me in the comments, are you more interested in making money or collecting the rare shiny beasts? I'd love to see what people are farming for here. And let's jump into it with the first thing that you need to do, which is fast travel to the beast's den which is just north of Hogwarts. The closest flu flame that you'll want to go to is actually the Forbidden Forest flu flame. You can easily locate the beast's den on the map by using the claw icon if you zoom into it and then track it on the location by adding a waypoint which will then easily lead you to it. Remember you can press up on the d-pad once you're tracking something and you'll have an easy quest marker to follow. Alternatively, you can follow the route that we're showing you on screen so you can see exactly where to go. Once you do arrive though, you will see a bunch of puff skeins. This is actually what we will be farming to get us a ton of money. You'll want to catch as many of them as you can using your knapsack spell. Since the puff skeins are one of the easier beasts to catch, it will only take one cast of the knapsack to actually catch them. They will run away, but you can stop them doing this by using the arresto spell to freeze them in place and quickly and easily catch them. If you're having trouble spotting them though, Revealio is a great tool that will highlight them so you can see them very easily. After you've caught all of the beasts in the area, Simply fast travel back to the previously mentioned flu flame and repeat the process as many times as you like. Fast traveling back to the Forbidden Forest flu flame will actually reset the spawn points for them, which will give you a chance of getting a rare shiny beast to spawn. You can also quickly reset the spawn by continually fast traveling to the flu flame after checking the spawns if you are specifically hunting for the shinies. An easy way to tell if they are shiny is by the little star icon that will appear next to their name as well as the gender. So either cast a resto and capture all of them, or repeatedly fast travel to the flu flame to force respawns until you get the shiny that you want. Now it's the exciting part where you will make your money. Simply head back to North Hogsmeade where you'll be able to visit a shop called Brood and Peck. Here you can tab over onto the shop to sell beasts that you have collected. These sell for around 120 each, which is really good for how fast you can actually farm them. And it's infinitely farmable, so you can simply get all of the money you need from this. Remember that legendary gear pieces sell for 200, so the fact that these sell for 120 each is really, really good, and you can get them so fast. The great thing is that you can actually do this at any beast den on the map, like the moon calf, which are also a good alternative farm, as they spawn more of them in a single trip. Overall, this is a super easy method that we have found, but if you have found any other methods, then help your fellow wizard and witches out, and drop it in the comments down below, and we can learn together as a community. And if you're watching to this point in the video, I'm sending you good vibes so that you're going to get a shiny spawn in no time. Make sure to share to a friend who's struggling with money, or who you would think would enjoy the shiny beasts. And definitely click like if we helped you out, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one, we'll have plenty more guides coming soon. And the two videos on the screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this. Of course, you don't have to click them if you don't want to, but if you found this one helpful, you're probably going to enjoy these too. And tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.